besties today's recipe is banco with fried fish okay so our focus is going to be on the fish we are going to learn how to prep fish the last time i got a lot of comments people asking me how to prep fish okay so that was pala yes it is hack fish or hack fish or something something like that but in ghana we call it pala so guys just stay tuned okay stay focused because today i'm gonna teach you how you can clean or prep your pala fish okay so let's dive into the video without wasting much time so if you have a kitchen scissors or a knife okay you're gonna take all the things away the things you, you are seeing me cutting them off okay they got everything make sure you remove the unwanted things that you don't want okay if you think you like something you can leave it but if you think you don't like it just take it off okay so the things i don't like is what i'm taking it off is what i'm removing it taking everything that i don't like okay so just enjoy and trust the process all right we go give you all the vibes we go make your food so nice even if you don't not cry you go no we go make you feel so right yeah dr rose's kitchen adriani pampoa rose's kitchen adriani pai dr rose's kitchen adriani pampoa rose's kitchen adriani pai dr rose's kitchen Adriani Pampoa Rossi's Kitchen Adriani Pai Dr. Rossi's Kitchen Adriani. So at this point we are going to wash it thoroughly okay we are going to wash it well so after washing you are going to season it with any seasoning of your choice so I am using fish seasoning okay and this fish seasoning include salt already there's salt in it already so if you don't see me adding sauce just don't worry about it so i'm part drying with my paper towel okay those if you are going to fry fish make sure it's dry i mean kind of dry so that when you put your fish in the oil it doesn't splatter anywhere or burn you you get <laughs> okay so this is the fish seasoning i'm sprinkling on it so i'll go ahead and use my hands to you know you know how i do it already to so massage and everything and everything some okay so this is the banku and so this is the cassava and then the corn dough so in this video i will teach you how to drive or turn banku the proper way okay <laughs> okay so just 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 trust the process i you trust me okay so let's transfer it onto the stove you stay till everything becomes harder then you go ahead and then you start turning it bit by bit by bit till it becomes thick and i mean heavy like this okay when you think it's too heavy to the extent that you can't turn it go ahead add water okay add water so that it can loosen a bit okay so the more you add water it loosen up it become a bit soft for you to be able to drive it so that there wouldn't be lumps in it okay so banku is calling <laughs> aha uh -huh, but something just popped in my mind though but those who sell banku they are thieves so not all of them do but you see if i tell you how much i used in preparing this banku all right so that is another story for another day my dear our banco is ready at this point is you if you have your hot pepper just bring it okay i'm gonna dash you free panla fish okay and then you will just enjoy yourself with the banco so we are we will put that's my hot oil though, and that's my corn flour okay if you don't want your um your fish to scatter when you are frying if you don't have a non-stick pot to fry your fish or non-stick frying pan to fry your fish and you're using the aluminium type most of the time when you use the aluminium type it, it, it just kind of scatter okay so you just have to um sprinkle some corn flour that's what i do okay and it's really really helpful so because i do that i'm used to the um the non-stick pot even if i'm using it to fry fish i make sure i sprinkle a little corn flour in it so that my fish will be very very nice without scattering okay so if you can see i'm using a paper towel 
okay so we want the oil to absorb okay too much of oil is bad as you can see there's oil in the fish so we need it to be absorbed so the tissue is going to do the work for me okay <laughs> So we are frying the remaining fish and then we will enjoy our panku. Doctor Rossi's kitchen. A Diani Panko. Rossi's kitchen. A Diani Pai. We go give you all the vibes. We go make your food so nice. Even if you don't know Kura, you go know. We go make you feel so right. We go give you all. So guys. I'll say thank you to all my subscribers, my newbies, my retainees, everybody. God bless you. Thank you so much for following me, for subscribing, for liking. Thank you so much. Keep subscribing, keep joining this family, for I bring you nothing but the best. Okay? Okay? You know, I always bring you easy recipes, quick recipes. Just trust the process. It's my name. Okay? So, that's the bangku. It is ready. Let's enjoy it, guys. You are invited. You are invited. So, guys. Subscribe for more interesting and amazing videos like this. See you in my next video. My name is Dr. Rosie. Bye.